up, I'm up. Young America can't get enough of old-timey ice skating music. Fantastic microscopes and how to use them. The powerful eye okay, of the microscope that. extends the range of your eye when you use it correctly. Use it incorrectly and you're on your own. The microscope is your window into the world we seldom see. A world of strange creatures. This is Glenn. Glenn's a real freak. Say hi, Glenn. A world where a single drop of water may be teeming with scores of one-celled animals. Uh-oh, looks like a stampede. Get the youngins indoors. And yet, this strange world is yours to explore, yours to investigate by means of your microscope. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't speak the language and I just get lost. As the first step in learning to use the microscope, we must become familiar with the names of the main parts of the standard instrument. If you say so. The base is so named because it supports the microscope. It is fairly heavy to make the instrument stable. It doubles as a bludgeon for those lab relationships gone the stage awry. stage may be compared to the stage of a theater. It holds the specimen to be viewed, and therefore is where the action takes place. Well, please don't refer to mitosis as action. The objectives are the lenses, which are nearest the specimen, or slide. Talk about the knobs. Do the knobs next. The objectives are attached to the revolving nose piece. For your revolving nose. the objectives nose. to be easily changed. The tube is part of the main body of the microscope. So named because of its tubular shape. Oh, yeah! The eyepiece is the lens located at the top of the tube, nearest the eye. Man, they thought of everything. Does this thing have Bluetooth? The adjusting knob is used for focusing. Oh, it's so hard to focus sometimes. And the mirror for reflecting light onto the specimen. And burning ants. An additional focusing knob is found on most modern microscopes. It is used for critical focusing, which we'll learn more about shortly. Ooh, you tease! So you're ready to begin using the microscope. In using the microscope, the first step of preparation is in making certain that all lens surfaces are clean and free of dust and lint. And boogers and pubes. If the instrument hasn't been used for a time, the lenses will probably need cleaning. Use lens tissue, never your handkerchief, and gently clean the objectives <laughs> and the eyepiece. The glass from which the lenses are made is soft and easily scratched, so be very careful. Take care of things you share. Then, unless you are instructed otherwise, tilt the microscope body until it is in a comfortable position for you to use. Put your feet up. Make yourself at home. Adjusting the mirror for the best light is your next problem. Place a slide on the stage and direct the light onto the portion of the slide that you will be viewing. Get a load of me. I'm Gene Rosenthal, famous stage lighting designer. Turn the low-power objective into viewing position by revolving the nose piece. The low-power objective is the shorter of the two. It'll snap into place. And so will you if you know what's good for you. Now look into the eyepiece and turn the mirror slightly from side to side until the light appears to be even and comfortably bright. If you've blinded yourself, you're doing it wrong. Turn the low-power objective down with the adjusting knob until it nearly touches the slide. But watch carefully. If you turn too far, you may break the slide and damage the microscope. Now look through the eyepiece and focus by turning the adjustment knob toward you until the specimen on the slide becomes distinct. Now, this is hard. Can't I just Google it? Then use the fine adjustment knob to bring the specimen into sharp focus. This is called critical focusing. You're always so critical. And splat, crack, shatter, fail. Most of your studies of the small plants and animals will be done using the low power objective, since the low power gives you a better overall view of most plant and animal structure. Mm, yes, quite. You will use the high power objective in some of your studies of cell structure, however. Well, sure. It is important to know how to use it correctly. First, turn the revolving nose piece until the high-power objective snaps into place. Now shrink yourself to the size of a flea and enter the exploration capsule. Now, before focusing, carefully adjust the high-power objective until it is very near the top of the glass slide. Now cock the hammer. In focusing the high-power objective, turn the course adjustment knob toward you until you begin to see an image. If it looks like a raisin collection, you're doing it right. 
Is there going to be a snack break? Then slowly turn the fine adjustment knob back and forth until you're sure the specimen is in clear, sharp focus. Nope. Cold. Colder. Nope. Okay, yup. There it is. Good. Nope, you went past it. You know what? Move. I'll do it. Care in critical focusing will produce a clear, sharp image that is easier to see and study. Oh, I should have mentioned that you should already be smart and know about a lot of stuff. A person trained in the use of the microscope learns to keep both eyes open while viewing the specimen. This helps avoid eye strain and makes the work less tiring. Whoa! You can learn this technique, too. Who, me? Now, don't squint. Try leaving both eyes open. With both eyes open. And covering one eye with your hand. Concentrate on the view through the microscope. Then slowly remove your hand. Remove my hand? That seems drastic. peek a -boo? Doesn't work? We'll try it again. If there's a problem, it's with you, not with science. Don't worry. It'll come to you, and it'll help to make your work much easier. No need to organize or strike or unionize. The microscope is your key to an unseen world. It is your key to knowledge and a better understanding of life itself. Okay. So use this key, and use it well, for it may one day unlock the door to still undiscovered secrets of science. Or at least, failing that, you can see what the inside of a Pop-Tart looks like up close. Next time, you've been using Bunsen burners wrong your whole life! All skate now. All skate. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching Fun With Shorts. This series is supported by Patreon and patrons like these wonderful people right here. They get early access to new episodes and exclusive episodes every month. Also, check out the updated funwithshorts.com for DVDs and merch and all the good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.